Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Tiago Dijai Low to review today. Uh, this card looks really, really saucy, to be honest with you. Like, so much sauciness on it. Uh, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot three, medium high work rates, uh, two star skills, three star weak foot. So already starting off really hot on the card because the height is fantastic. Uh, the work rates are fantastic. Does he have an average body type? I'm curious. High and average plus. Okay, so he's in high and average plus body type. But look at the pace on this bad boy with the dribbling stats that he has. Okay, 60 for balance. But look at the rest of the dribbling stats. 84 agility, 88 reactions, 84 composure. That looks phenomenal. Okay, so I'm kind of hoping that his left and right movement is actually really sick. I'm really, really hoping for that, right? Because he's a tall player, great work rates. In-game player traits, he has none. He's going to be working with 95 acceleration with 98 sprint speed, which obviously for the meta of the game is fantastic. A lot of people may actually try this card out because of the nice little cheeky Renato Sanchez link for the full meta aspect of the game, but we're going to be taking a look at him in-game. Uh, base card stats for shooting uh, doesn't really have much. He has shot power, though. They give shot power to a lot of center backs, which is interesting. Uh, base card stats for passing, 85 for short passing, 80 for long passing is decent enough for a center back. Dribbling for a center back looks really good, guys. It does, uh, but we do have to test it out with that high and average plus body type because he's a pretty tall player, tall player with 79 for jumping, but if he's already tall, I don't really think that's going to be too much of an issue. This card on a shadow chemistry style is only going to lack in defensive awareness, but he does have the medium high work rates, which is something that's going to be very, very important. Uh, base card stats for physical. He even has 84 aggression to work with the pace that he has as well with 95 for strength and then 73 for stamina. So to be honest with you guys, he looks really, really good. I would have actually reviewed... Uh, the Chiesa card at the same time, but at the but the problem is that uh, he's actually extinct right now. So one of those situations. But uh, yeah, we're gonna test out this Tiago Dijai low card in a nice little four four two formation. Uh, again, this is not a formation that I normally use nowadays. Uh, it is for you know depending on the situation of the game. But this is a really good review formation because of the pressure on heavy touch with a little bit higher depth. Uh, we're gonna be playing him in that right center back position next to Kempembe. Uh, and uh, we'll basically just take it from there. Whether or not I'm super into this card, I'm still, you know, for my main team, if I ever have the money, I'd still buy him by default, but I'm still going to give you guys a proper review because with the price that he's at, it's whether or not he's going to be like a crazy meta card. So yeah, we'll test him out in game and uh, we'll see how BC is. Hopefully he's good, man. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. I really hope he's good. Please be good. We'll take that. Thank you very much, sir. See what his dribbling is like. Dude, he's so tall in game. Look at him. Oh my goodness. He's massive. Look at this guy. Come on, Tiago. Get the pass off. Yes. Oh my god. He's fast with height. I think I'm going to love this card. Let's go. His dribbling, I actually like. Like, considering how tall he is, I do like it. Manual control here. Tackle off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Please cross it. I'll give you the space. Oh, I love you. The space for the header and stuff, man. Like, listen, his you, you can notice the jumping part there, but because he's already tall, he's still going to win those. I love his dribbling. For a center back, guys, I actually really like it. Tracks that guy the entire time. That was sick. That was a really poor pass, but I love how he kind of like reacted quickly to kind of go upwards. That was that was really good. No touch anything. Switch now. So that's on me. That's 100% on me to go downwards there. But the switch off and the instant acceleration to even go downwards was good there too. Backing was really good there as well. His passes with his like strong foot, weak foot, honestly doesn't really matter. Make that pass, please. Switch. So I was super far away from him, but he actually still went for the uh, blocking animation, which is good. Tracks that guy the entire time again. We need a second man press here. 
Oh my. <laughs> Kimbempe, what the probably one of the best center backs in the game, but hey, it happens, right? Those are the ones I want. I'll trigger shield. Block this area here. Run quickly. His movement, guys, like left and right, it's really good, man. And you know what's really helpful is because he's such a tall player. And the fact that he's tall and he can move like that is, is so sick. Nice. Poor pass by him. Ijailo, again, very fast to respond to it. That would have been sick. <laughs> Dude. Big shot. Touch. Weak foot. I'm telling you guys, bro. Being that fast and being that tall is actually super nice, bro. It's going to pass off right there. There we go. Do a switch upwards. Oh, look at that. Well weighted, eh? First time. Cheese! That was actually kind of cool. Nice. Just had to hold that general area there. Donnarumma, obviously. Probably the most consistent goalkeeper in the game. Actually pushes out immediately. Little switch again here. Nice. Yeah, I tracked after him the entire time there. Doesn't switch to him there, but we'll take it. I, I like that, that I, when I push out Kimpempe, I want to see if he still tracks him. So the defensive awareness, guys, like with the medium high work rates, honestly, not a big deal. What I'm noticing right now is his reactions, bro. His reactions is nice. So that one is a fantastic slide tackle animation, but I was just too far from the attacker to get it. But I like that he didn't actually challenge him there. He didn't touch him, even though mine was uh, super, super far. Nice with his weak foot too. Or I think that was his weak foot, right? Like the way he goes in. Oh my goodness. That's just L trigger shield, eh? Great animations, dude. Fantastic animations, even. Look at the transition speed. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how smooth it is. Nice. I was a little bit off from the uh, the shot that he took, but the way that he kind of reached in there was was still really sick. Get that beauty. See again, you can tell the jumping is low, but he still gets those. Not going to control him here. Now I'm going to switch to him, switch to Kampembe, switch back to him, go for the challenge. Look at that. Look at that possession based challenge, bro. That was dope. Oh, I love that. He actually, uh, he was magnetized to the ball right there, too. That was sick. Oh, I wasn't even controlling him there. That aggressiveness was sick. Hear it. Good. Also the floor, yeah, but... Oh, the block, though. Those ones are always going to be random when you have to get the ball in the air. I'm going to manually run with him. Dude, it's so fast for his body type. Now I'm going to switch off of him. Look. Back in position. We're going to switch them again. Hold this area here. Switch. Switch again. His animation choice there was really good. Yeah. Super possession base again, man. Sometimes your players just miss the ball, but it's the animation choice that they make that's very important, dude. I'll trigger possession base again. This card is so freaking nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's going for bicycle kicks, eh? I didn't even expect that. <laughs> I'm 
marking was incredible there. The way he switched off right there. Oh, and the tackle. Let's go. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Tiago Dejai low card. So I'm super, super content with how this card performs in game, uh, especially since he's Portuguese. So we got Portuguese meta players out on these streets, but uh, I loved using this card, man. He was really, really solid. Uh, and the reason being for this, guys, is because they've given him such good things to work with that high and average plus body type that it's really, really good and noticeable in game because of base card stats for physical being as high as it is as well, right? So here's the thing. You've got 95 acceleration, 98 sprint speed to work with 84 aggression. The fact that they've given him an extra aggression stat is fantastic. Uh, defensively in game, couldn't care less about the defensive awareness because his medium high work rates is going to be good enough for a card like this. This card's reach because of how tall he is with his high and average plus body type and really good defensive capabilities, he's solid, man. He makes tackles from behind the player, uh, in front of the player. His challenges come off more possession-based. And I think a big reason for this, guys, is because of the way that his dribbling stats are set up, okay? So he has 84 agility, but it's the composure and reactions. First of all, reactions at an 88 is fantastic, but that with 84 composure, great dribbling stats, his passes actually come off really well uh, as well, considering the fact that he's a center back. I really enjoyed using this card, man. I think he's a very, very sick player. That link that you can get between him and Renato Sanchez is gonna be massive, especially if you work with a 4-2-4 formation, right? So if you were to do uh, something like this, uh, 4 2 4 and Renato is the guy over here and then you have Dijai Lo over here oh my god this is this is just rubbing me in the right places so far okay and then you have Jelson over there I mean like look at this link up you have there and you put Cancelo and you're good to go look you put Cancelo here he has a new left back card which we'll check out as well maybe uh but look look at the links man he already gets the triple link set up there right Dijai Lo is good Renato's good. everybody's good here GG's man. Now you can do whatever you want in the other in the other positions. Fantastic, bro. Honestly, he's a very good center back card, guys. I really enjoyed using him. He's fantastic. The extra pace with the body type is just disgusting. Really enjoy using him. I would put him up there, guys, with the center back cards in the League One for sure. He's awesome to use, man. Super, super enjoyed using him. Wow. The animation choices, man. Like when you're I love when you're just pressing L trigger and those sharp touches that you do, the little animation choices that he makes to make sure that the ball is his, it's so important to roll because there's so many times, guys, where you'll press L trigger and your players will take an awful touch against the attacker and then it just allows them to basically glitch run through you and just go through on goal. Which, don't get me wrong, it's still going to happen from him from time to time, right? It even happens to Kambempe and Kambempe is one of the best players in the game. But, man, the animation choices that he went with when he's putting pressure against the defender is fantastic. I really, really enjoyed using this card. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.